Hello and welcome to this tutorial on modeling, assembling and animating a ball bearing. Let's have a look at the drawing, an exploded view. So we will design the outer race, the balls, the cage and the inner race. I will start the design in an empty part studio. Press S for my shortcut. Start a sketch on the front plane, press N for a normal view to that, B, hide all planes, L and Q for a construction line, starting from the origin, I mentioned that with 22, then draw a circle with a 12 um, millimeter diameter. Draw one line, a vertical line here, and with a shift M, I take the midpoint relationship between that line and the origin. Next, I'll draw a center point rectangle. Place that here, pull that out. Then give that a 4.8 width and a 12 millimeter height. With I, constrain that coincident with that circle. Then go to the mirror command, take that line as my mirror line and um, mirror those four lines here. All right, that's it for the sketch. We can define one mate connector with the origin here, with the Z axis pointing upwards. And then go to the revolve command. Take those two regions. And rotate that around our mate connector here. All right. I'll make that sketch visible again and rotate those two regions here around that line. So we get three parts here in our part studio. I can hide that sketch. And let's see. So the first one here is the outer race. Then next we get the inner race and finally the ball. I'll apply some appearance to that, some light gray and can change the transparency of those two with that slider here. All right, and I'll change the color of the ball to some orange. And finally, I'll apply a fillet of one millimeter to those two edges, just picking the face. Okay, that's it for the work in this part studio. And I'll switch to the assembly, go to insert and insert the whole part studio here. All right. I will pull things apart and constrain things to the origin here. So first with a revolute mate, I'll take the inner race. I press shift to select the the center mate connector of those and that one i'll do that one more time for um the outer race and that same origin here and then i'll position that ball next to that face 
and take the, uh, the tangent mate between that face and that one. Okay, that jump to the inside, I'll just change the alignment. And that's it. Now I will define one mate connector with this origin here and make a, an assembly circular pattern of our ball around our axis and make that eight times. Within this context, I will create the cage. And this is done with a create part studio and context feature. I'll pick that mate connector here as our origin. Accept that. And a second part studio opens here. And I will start a sketch on this top plane. Press P again, hide all planes. And I'll draw like in this perspective. So we're in the first sketch and I will press U to project one ball um, silhouette to my sketch. Select that um, circle, press Q to make that construction line. Then again, B for the circle and connect that to that center. Okay, that's it. And I will exit that sketch, go to the extrude and make a thin extrude of that circular edge. I'll select mid plane and a thickness of three millimeters and just leave it at the default of 25 millimeters. All right. Next is a Boolean operation between um, those balls here. I'll select them. Subtracting those from my cage, keeping the tools. All right, accept that. And then I'll just go to the shell command, give the shell thickness one millimeter and remove those three faces. And now I will just mirror the upper page over the, the top plane and bearings we create two sides of the cage held by pins we can easily bolt this off of this part studio and maybe you want to go ahead and try that for yourself okay i'll exit here rename my part cage and again change the appearance um blue and that's it for the work in the my second part studio and now i will insert and go to the assembly okay on shape switches to the assembly with my cage inserted. I need to create one um, um, group relation between my cage and the spheres, the balls. Okay. Now that's it for the design part, I want to animate that ball bearing 
And for that, I will hide this mate connector of the origin, go to the revolute, then go to that face of my cage and pick that and pick that mate connector from the origin. And I don't need that tangent uh, relationship anymore. I'll suppress it, go to Revolute, and animate that. And there you have it. I hope you like this video, and I see you in the next one.